In this illustration, we intend to simulate strip damper subjected to cyclic loading in the Abacus software. In this picture, you can observe the experimental sample and the example having been performed in the Abacus software. In this question, a cyclic loading is applied to the top of the strip damper and subsequently its hysteresis diagram will be drawn. In this picture, the hysteresis diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with the experimental results. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are so close to those inferred from the article. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Non-Uniform Steel Strip Dampers Subjected to Cyclic Loadings. In this picture, you can observe the hysteresis diagram. In this picture, the experimental sample can be observed. In the next step, I'll enter load module, click on create boundary condition. Select the bottom of the model, done, and close all boundary conditions of displacement for it. In this manner, the bottom of the model will become absolutely fixed. Click on seat part. Enter the approximate global size equal to 10 millimeters and OK. Then click on seat edge and select these lines. I will consider four elements for the thickness of strip damper. I click on mesh part and yes. I'll click on Assign Mesh Control, here select Sweep and then Medial Axis. Click on Mesh Part and Yes. In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the model. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram in the Abacus software. I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output and Continue. Here, I will select All Reaction Forces. Click on Save As, then select Sum. And OK. Here I select Displacement and click on Save As. I 
right click on create xy data select operate on xy data and continue here i select total force and divide that by Uh, 106,200 in this manner this load will be converted to normalized load Here I select combine. First select U1 and then normalize the load and click on save as. Here you observe the hysteresis diagram obtained from the Abacus software. I'll transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is a millimeter. The second column is normalized load, which has not any unit. Here the diagram having been drawn with red color is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are very similar to those mentioned in the article, indicating that this question has been simulated properly in the Abacus software.